Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss on Rahu, we discussed on Jupiter, Saturn also we have discussed but we have not yet discussed Rahu for this year 2024 and Rahu, Rahu is a very 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 important planet because it shows our desires and where is Rahu currently transiting, please write it down in the comments if you know where Rahu is transiting which I'm sure you know because you have seen the videos or because you know what's happening today all right so so ladies and gentlemen Rahu's transit in the sign of Pisces we have discussed already for every ascendant what are the probable things which could come but now it's almost three two to three months since the transit has occurred and therefore, it's very important to revisit this transit for this year because uh, now we can actually start seeing uh, the results of this transit. So Rahu is currently transiting Pisces, as you know, and Pisces is the 12th zodiac sign. It is the highest, the highest, the highest of all evolved signs. It is the last sign of the zodiac belt. And therefore... It becomes very important for us to understand Rahu's transit in Pisces. Furthermore, because Rahu and Pisces have very contradictory energies. They, I won't say they don't like each other, but they are like, oh really? <laughs> Rahu is like, I have to sit in this sign and uh, give results from here for the next uh, 18 months. Maybe around 15 more months are many. So this is very interesting because... Pisces, as you know, is the own sign of Jupiter and uh, Rahu and Jupiter, as we discussed in our yesterday's video, they're like having similar traits, but yet they have a lot of different traits, right? So Jupiter, Rahu both show expansion, but one is dharmic expansion, one is adharmic expansion, right? Now, when Rahu comes into the sign of Sagittarius or Pisces. It's like he's entering the house of Jupiter. So now he's forced to behave like Jupiter, but in a Rahu way. <laughs> I mean, how can you behave like somebody else by being yourself? <laughs> that is the predicament of Rahu in Sagittarius or Rahu in Pisces. I mean, you can be somebody else or you can be yourself. How can you be uh, both or how can you be the best of both, right? So that's exactly what is the situation of Rahu. Now, what does Rahu indicate? Rahu indicates primarily our materialistic desires. Rahu indicates our ability to uh, look beyond that which is normal. Uh, maybe paranormal, transnormal, whatever you can call it. Okay, but... Rahu represents things which are outside of the boundary. Rahu represents things which, if you want to pursue, you have to break some boundary. You have to break some rule or sometimes the law, all right? So, therefore, Rahu also shows criminals many a times. Rahu, Saturn, Mars, these three planets will show criminals. But nonetheless, it is very important for us to understand uh, this Rahu transit in Pisces. Now, what is Pisces? Pisces is the sign which tells you trust in God, trust in your karma, do your actions and leave the rest to God. Where Lord Krishna, which is very similar to what Lord Krishna says in the Gita, that you can do your work, but you cannot control your action, your reactions. You cannot control the results. The only thing that you can control is your actions, surprisingly. But that is not the guarantee for success. Because you will see many people, they will uh, sit in the same school, they will sit in the same class, they will study from the same teacher, they will take the same coaching course. Um, but not everybody will clear the IIT JWE exam. Not everybody will clear the UPSC exam. Not everybody will get the highest marks in GRE, TOEFL, IELTS, or what was that other exam, GMAT. <laughs> Why does it happen? Because everybody is born with a different level of intelligence. Everybody has a different grasping power. And apart from that, during the time a person is giving the exam, also there is the element of luck which favors you or does not favor you. Have you? How many of you 
here raise your hands uh, if you felt that you studied everything for an exam except one or two or three questions and those three questions are the ones which came and you lost the marks <laughs> or sometimes how many have you of you have felt that you did not study anything you just studied like four or five questions and all of the questions came in the exam and you passed the exam <laughs> Well, it has happened with you, me and so many people that I know. So please write it down in the comments what happened and what are the things that you studied or some in good childhood memories. I would love to see them in the comments, all right? So Rahu in Pisces tells you that, well, uh, now is the time that you have to trust the divine order. So when I say divine order... It's not just some utopian fancy thing like they say in the West, you know, oh yeah, it's the universe giving you, you know, so so it's like the universe has no other job than to keep giving you things, right? <laughs> so when the, the Westerners, they say uh, the universe, from a Vedic perspective, we understand that is basically our own karma and God, uh, God's, uh, God's sanction, okay? So there's nothing like, you know, oh, universe is sending this sign, universe is doing this, universe is doing that. You know, it's the universe after all. The universe wants you, universe is pushing you, universe is giving you this thing, that thing. Oof, it is basically our own karma and God himself. So therefore, Ram now tells you, trust in the universe. <laughs> Which means, trust in your own karma. Now, this is very weird. How can you trust your own karma? Because who knows what have you done in your previous lifetime? We, we might have done something terribly wrong in the previous lifetimes. Uh, but uh, we might have done something good also, right? So, uh, when we are doing something, we need to have that attitude that, yes, maybe we might have done certain wrong things, but maybe we might have done some good things also. So, let's be optimistic from our karmic perspective. Not that it will always be good, but maybe there is something good we must have done. Maybe let's pretend, let's assume that. And also let us trust in the power of God, in the in the divinity of God, in the elevation of God. Because Lord Krishna says, you know, that um, I will, I give the results. You, He says to Arjuna, you do your actions, you do not think of results, you know, that I will give you the results, okay. Depending on so many things, you know, like uh, there are five factors which the Bhagavad Gita mentions, which we can discuss more in detail. But now when Rahu is transiting Pisces, so you might feel that suddenly you become very lucky sometimes or suddenly you become very unlucky sometimes. You may feel this. You may feel, oh, why is this person not responding to me? Why is that person behaving so nice, right? So you have to understand that when Rahu transits Pisces, it's like saying certain things will come as per our own karmic uh, actions, as the results of our karmic actions. And depending on our consciousness, it will come in a way which will apparently seem good or bad to us. Okay, which means something good happens in your life. So suppose you get a very big job. Okay, so especially if this transit is related to your Artha houses. So it could happen that you might get a nice job, but does that guarantee that uh, you will be happy? Well, this is also another lesson for Rahu in Pisces, which means there are so many good things which can happen. And at the end, you may realize, oh, but this didn't make me happy. And on the contrary, there could be so many wrong things which could happen, uh, which is like, you know, um, very bad as per our expectations. But then at the end, things turn up beautifully. So therefore, during this transit, we have to make sure that we learn to trust God because Pisces is the sign of spirituality. It's the highest evolved sign, okay? So therefore, when we see during this transit, things are not going as per our wish, things are not going as per our desires, our wills, or our plans, okay? Then we need to understand that there is a higher plan and uh, whenever you go to some temple or some mosque or some church, uh, whichever religious tradition you identify yourself with, uh, please go and uh, pray to God that whatever is best for me, please give that. So this is your mantra for Rahu's transit in Pisces. Whatever is the best for me, please give that to me. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience. Jai Shri Ram. And if you want a consultation from me, then you can always go to my website down in the description section. Lord is there with you all the time and you will see him today at 12.30. Thank you so much.